Johnny, I already have you. I already have you recording. But I want to tell you that was a musical feast that you just. It was a musical feast that you gave us. Yeah. The people I'm giving it some more over the years, so I feel about like time for them, you know? Yeah. How did you feel about the crowd and the show? Well, I mean, I tell them, man, I don't fool this, man. I'm giving the energy, you know, I'm multiplying. Yeah. The encouragement was great. Enough respect. Yeah. Jo- Johnny, how was it to be on stage with Soul Syndicate legends Fully Fullwood and Tony Chin and Santa Davis, who you had so many hits with, with Bunny Lee? I don't know, I've been back in the years of the good family reunion. Yeah. You know? Now, the original creativity in the years, you know? Now, Bunny, Bunny Lee, Bunny Lee, legendary producer Bunny Lee, who I told you I, I didn't catch up with before he passed, but he recruited you. He actually came to find you at Idler's Rest with Blackbeard because he had heard your song wondering in England, right? And so he came to recruit you at Idler's Rest. Um, And Johnny, um, you did an interview in 1983, so it was a long time ago. And this guy said on the internet, he wrote it, he wrote after he met with you in 1983, and he said that you became the most potent force the biggest force in Bunny Lee's organization. And he said that Bunny Lee would deliver all the royalty checks to you on time. Is that true? Did Bunny Lee give you all your royalty checks on time? Yeah. Yeah. So Virgin was giving you your royalty checks. But what about Bunny Lee? Was Bunny Lee Bunny was was Bunny Lee giving you royalty checks on time? No, but them days they was not about checks. It was more about the music. No, the music and you know when a man make a money, I'm a man will put the money for you, you know? Yeah. I just know some boy. It's nice because them, them days they never run down certain high class things, you know? True. Because really they come from the, the ghetto and for real if I was saying for we achieve in life. We give thanks, I was really a blessing to where we was really coming from, you know? True, true. So no matter what, you know, so we don't still, and even then, it was something in you know, your pocket still, you know? Yeah. As a man who wasn't really working. Yeah. So it's nice to get that money, you know? Yeah. Now, the very first song that you recorded for Bunny Lee was My Desire, right? Yeah. And, um, and I was shocked to learn the family man was playing piano on that song. Was that an unusual thing that that piano man, that Family Man would play piano? Because everybody knows him as the bassist. Why was he playing piano on that song? Because Bundy is a man when he's doing session. Yeah. All of the big champion musicians gather around. The big champion musicians and some of them versatile. They can play bass, they also can play piano, they can play guitar if you want them to. But so he, they don't specialize in bass. But if you need them, they can play the piano. They might, you might be surprised for what you can get from them when they play. Yeah, he was so talented. So yeah, talented. Yeah, very now, now, um, the, 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 the biggest Rugas Roots hits that you began, you began a whole heap of songs with Bunny Lee. You had all these hits. And there was the flyers symbol, the fly, the, the flying symbols, yeah. the flyers sound. Why did Bunny Lee? Why did he? Uh, both Santa, da- Santa Davis and Tony Chin told me that Bunny Lee is the one who named it that. Why did he name it that? Did he name it that because it had that calypso upbeat to it, or why did he name it that? Yeah, but, uh, uh, the, the, the flyers. The flyers. I, as I say, it was a change in the music from the one drop that right out of became a hit because it was very instrumental in thinking that the people need a type of up tempo and it was coming from England that as you know you used to visit that the people came up here like when the music is the rhythm is fast. Yeah, yeah. So so 
when him come down now, decide to you know, create a fast, hot tempo type of style, and then it catch on. And people loved it. It was like a change from the one drop. And then the hit machine started. Yeah, after we had that. a string of it. Yeah. Because we, we just have to utilize the new invention and the lo- likeness of the people. But, but, and them catch on to it, you know? Bunny Lee, he seemed like he was a very good-natured guy, that all the musicians who worked for him, they really loved Bunny Lee. Do you agree with that? Well, yeah, because it's a man where him kind of, you know, make everybody feel. More times, the man talks talk some things, and, you know, everybody laugh and all them things. Is, is there a favorite memory that you have of Bunny Lee when you think about him? Is there a favorite memory that you have? Oh, the man where him, 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 him could bring ideas to you, you know? He was creative. Yeah. Yeah. Now, many of your songs, in fact, almost all of them, they're they're so righteous because they're based on Rastafari. Um, I believe that you said that your older brother, when it would storm, he would when it would rain and it would thunderstorm, he would call out Rastafari. Yeah, man. And, and that was one of the things that started to get you into Rasta. Is that true? That, that was in my youth. Yeah. yeah. Now. When I'm at, at home. Yeah. Thank now you, a good. I have bigger brothers. You know? Ah. Yeah. Because your your younger brother is a drummer for the no, was I a drummer. Know, I am the smartest. Uh, oh, I thought you had a. We have a brother named uh, yeah, named Fish. Yeah, but he, he's bigger than me. Oh, he's an older brother. Yeah. Yeah. For the Root Tracks. Now, um, there there is an elder that I told you about um, before you came here named Ross Michael, who's our dean of, of reggae here in LA. Ross Michael. Yeah. And when he when when he was in Jamaica, he had a radio show. He had a radio program. It was called Lion of Judah, and it was in the. It was in 1964. Did you ever see that show? You were you were a young young boy. It was on the radio. It was called Lion of Judah. Did your brother or did you ever see Ross Michael or hear his show, his radio show? Yeah. You were too young. Yeah. Yeah, you were way too young. You're nine, nine or ten. Now, but you were still because you were nine or ten. You, you were there when Holly Selassie came to Jamaica. Do you do you do you, do you, do you remember that time? Yeah, man, I was in a, um, I think what they call them, the Cub. Oh. At school, well, yeah. I have a journey of a walk You know, like, they were like Cub. They have Cubs, the big, like a Cub Scout? Cub, yeah, and then you have the bigger one, Scout. Yeah. But so that was primary, in primary school, you have the Cub. What do you mean? And I was like, I went to stadium in a, in a Cub group. So did you actually yeah. see Selassie when he came? Uh, every school was motivated in that time. Every single school in the country. Yeah. All road lead to the national stadium. Young little child, everybody. To see Selassie. Young or the old. To see how to see yeah, Selassie. Man, guys, I tell you, I was a cop. So I must know young that was. Yeah. Now, um, your mom, though, I understand that she was a very Christian, church-going woman. She sang in the church. True. Yeah. And did she ever try to convince your brother and you? to not follow Rastafari? Was she trying to tell you that you shouldn't be a Rasta? Your mom? No, because, no, man, not like that. Because my mother, she never, nobody, them days of Rasta was not really, was really the in thing. Yeah. But it's just too great to know as a man where he kind of deal with it on a different level, you know. He might, he might check it out to the, the, the followers and people who, in friends, they were get him, check him every now and again. So I invite them, they you know. And did your mom accept that? Was she accepting you know, of that you know, eventually? Because, you know, she can't accept that because she, as far as she concerned, that is, is a Christian thing. Because she was calling out the institution to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, she was like in another room and like you know she was there on so she was like what you did God is doing his work and you must be quiet yeah you know I don't like that for me here you know yeah. so my brother and all the ways of me is a man where he's a man and 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 he's a man now as I said most of the many of the lyrics many of the lyrics in your songs are based on bible lyrics um, what is your favorite passage of the Bible, Johnny? What is the passage of the Bible that you read the most, or that you look at the most, or story in the Bible? Huh? 
Yeah, he's our Psalms. Yeah, you like the Psalms. Okay. And um, Johnny, um, your your song "Poor Marcus," which you sang tonight, you sang that song "Poor Marcus" is one of my favorite songs. Um, and Marcus Garvey's birthday was just two days ago on August 17th. And the day before that was Dr. Julius Garvey, his son. He turned 90 years old. And Dr. Julius Garvey, he has been asking the United States, along with Jamaica, to pardon and exonerate his father for the, the racial, racially biased conviction that they prosecuted him when he was in New York and they convicted him and they deported him to Jamaica. And it was all based on race, racism and lies. And Jamaica and Dr. Garvey have been asking the United States, please clear that up, please exonerate it. And they haven't done it. They won't, they won't do it, they haven't done it. President Biden hasn't done it. Why do you think that is? Why won't they pardon or exonerate Marcus Garvey? Sometimes people don't think they done wrong and they fail to, you know, they fail to own up to it or decide that they won't be coming clean, you know. They won't correct the history. That's just how they think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why a lot of things that was really done negatively, like in the olden days, the younger youths who they see come to see the light. So if them don't see their children, children, yeah. children. Respect, respect. Yeah. So, yeah, so you have to still depend on the youth. You still have to um, depend on the youth to come. No respect, yeah, no respect. Yeah, so you have to keep the, the youth going, you know? Johnny, just a month ago, Leroy Sibbles was here. He came in from Jamaica. And um, he was saying that he was still very angry with the tough gong people and the Marley family because they had made a decision to move a show that they play on the radio here in the United States. It's called The Joint and they replaced that. That's a show that would play um, reggae legends like yourself and other people like Leroy Sibbles and other reggae legends. They would play that. They replaced all of that with just Bob Marley content, Bob Marley music. And that had made uh, Leroy Sibbles very upset. He said that has taken away royalties from people like yourself. What do you think about that? And what do you think that the Marley family should do about that? Well, I don't know if, if, if I personally, you know, because I personally respond to I said differently. I don't love the bridging on people and everything, even so, you know, so early, but you, you have to defend yourself, so if, if that man I try to offend you, you know, you know, I mean, you know, you have a love with me, your surroundings, like your brethren, same way, but you, you have to deal with you, so if it's you, I'm really a deal with you. Yeah. Defend that, you know? Yeah, respect, respect. So, so the thing was still. So, <laughs> so me, I just, I, that's why I don't really, I, I don't compete, I just do, try to put out the best within that, you know? Respect, respect. I just know, so it's all about you. True. So you what you know what you do, you know, what you are do, you know, you know, you know for just try to do it the best, you know? True. Since I mentioned Bob Marley, were you friends with Bob when you were back in Jamaica? Yeah, oh gosh man. I mean, enough people who said, ah uh, this no. I why not tell you this was really the truth still, you know, and you must just believe this because it, well I, I usually have a car there by the name of a uh, Ford Cartina. You know. Oh yeah? A Ford, Ford Cortina. Yeah. yeah. And a red red one with a black stripe there. Right? It's DJ by the name of Justitch. Yeah, Justitch. Yeah. 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 He's a man where me and him used to do drive up and down, you know? Like, he's the, he's the type of man that you move him, just move with you, you know? Yeah. So we drive, we used to, have to drive up to Bob Place. <coughs> well, up road. Up up road. Because them days, they, we and Bob nice, you know? And them run, I play, kick up the ball, and you know? Yeah. And always, I will park up. Yeah. And they must play scrimmage and we just fall, me and speech come out and when Bob done and I take a break, Bob would just run over to me and say, Boy, Johnny too bad man, Johnny too bad man. Too bad man. Too bad man. Daddy too bad. So you know, they made them go out of shape of man. Yeah man, may I tell you. Yeah. And and really too really and really it's really sad to get to be tired them tired of that. Yeah. Can we also stop them? You know what things you know we don't but never really you know. Yeah. Never really you know, if money not setting, it never show. Yeah. 
never saw one time I go Bob Jaman way, Jaman way. You can see him saying serious, serious bread instead, you know? Yeah. Come more time, you know, it just look like him in the play thing. Yeah. Yeah, come more time, I saw him still, like, you know, just see him and, you know, play, play thing in the band, you know? Yeah, true. So, you know, say that. And yeah, but next time, I'm jolly. Yeah. Yeah, come more time. Come more time, I see him buck him up and, you know, just, um, the distribution place, because you know that a place, we just got a place name on the on retirement road. Uh-huh. You have one side is my crap, uh-huh. and the next side you have total sound, uh-huh. which eventually becomes sonic sound. <coughs> eh? Oh, okay. Wait a second. Ready? Good. Good. Hey. Thank, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank yeah. you so much, Johnny. Yeah, man. I just yeah. saw the thing, man. See, yeah. This